Well, I was in the neighborhood. Now you're in the house. Well? Well? Well, are you on or off? Time will tell. I don't have that kind of time, Mike. This is the only moment I'm taking for myself to discover the truth about you. Then I move on to my next patient. That's my routine. I've had some patients who have gone off. And I've lost them. As we say in the doctorhood. And it matters to me a great deal. But I can't afford to linger. Because I have so many other patients who are still on. You know why he asked me here this summer? Yes. He wants me to love him. Yes, he does. Well, I don't love anyone. Not anymore. I see. She waited for him. And waited. And, he, and even when she committed the ultimate act of bringing him to her, she failed. And you know why? Because she didn't know John Ambrose. He can't love anyone. He can love you. Mike, he's a very immature man. He's lonely. And he's afraid. He's afraid of death. He's afraid of life. He's afraid of you. You have so much ahead of you. So many discoveries, so many events, so many people. People who are waiting to love you. But nothing and nobody waits for him anymore. He had his opportunities once and let them slip through his fingers. Now the only opportunity he has left is you. Why don't you take a few years and teach him the good things? Help him. Love him. Show him how it's done. Teach him how to become a father. He wants so very much to learn that. He wants especially to learn to love you. And he can't do that without your love. Yes, yes. Thanks. Would you like to ride with me back to my house? 